For a long time, the Mercedes-Benz S-Class has been famous for being at the cutting edge of almost everything automotive. Technology, luxury, and in the case of the S65, immense power. It's a car that tries to outdo ordinary cars at every opportunity, and most times it succeeds. But there's one thing for which it's not particularly well known. While all the ordinary cars are trying their best to answer the need for efficiency, the S-Class has largely carried on being powered by big motors, shifting its big body around while carrying all those advanced systems and all that luxury on board. So being efficient hasn't been one of its strong points. And you can understand that. I mean, up till very recently, the argument was that if you could afford a 2 million rand luxury saloon, you could afford the fuel bill. But these days, the question about burning through loads of fuel isn't so much about whether you can afford it financially or not. It's about whether or not companies can be seen standing idly by as people point fingers and say the manufacturers are responsible for our poor planet suffocating. And so, inevitably, Mercedes-Benz has had to jump on that organic, free-range, fair-trade, gluten-free, sustainably manufactured bandwagon and make sure the S-Class is a world beater when it comes to not beating up the world. There is a slight stumbling block with that, though, and that is, with the state of technology the way it is, no one really has a clear advantage. So, Mercedes-Benz has decided to match the rest of the world by introducing a plug-in electric hybrid called the 500e. It's not the company's first hybrid, but it is the first one that allows the battery to be charged externally. Just like various Volvos and BMWs we've tested before, it uses a similar system to charge the car's lithium-ion battery from a domestic power socket. Fully charged, that battery can give you an all-electric range of around 30 kilometers. So in theory, if you do less than 30 kilometers a day, you could run the 500e as an electric car, with the only restriction being a limited top speed of 140 kilometers an hour. Realistically, that's not going to happen though. But the hybrid drive system is very good at deciding for itself whether to use battery power or petrol power or a combination of both. And the results are very obvious to see. The fuel consumption is surprising. And I've got a display in front of me saying that on this tank of fuel alone, I've done over 150 kilometers with the engine switched off completely. The S500e's selectable driving modes include a sport mode, but most of them are focused on efficiency. Besides running as a pure hybrid, other modes allow you to save the charge in the battery, and a surprisingly useful mode uses the petrol motor to charge the battery. On a 25km highway trip I did, it upped the charge from 15% to 50%. This isn't the first S-Class I've driven, but it is the first time I've noticed something about driving an S-Class. And that is, behind the wheel, you do feel like a bit of a king of the world. Cruising along an extra quiet electric mode with a Burmester sound system going and getting a massage, you do feel like you can take your time and enjoy things. People will wait. You're driving an S-Class. Of course, people won't wait, so when you need a bit of power, the S500e can still deliver. Its twin-turbo V6 combines with the electric motor to deliver 320 kilowatts and 650 newton meters for a 0 to 100 time that's less than half a second slower than the V8 S500. And that's despite this car weighing 200 kilograms more. The gearbox is a smooth shifting 7G Tronic unit, and the whole delivery is as smooth as the interior is sophisticated. Up front you get the massive dual TFT screen set up and a brilliantly laid out dashboard with walnut and leather and aluminium, but back here, fully adjustable business class seats with heating and cooling, and little pillows behind your head. It'll also automatically switch on the aircon as soon as you unlock the car, and it even has a cup holder that'll keep the temperature of your drink just right. Even if you don't want all the toys, the S500e is only available in long wheelbase, so you'll still get an apartment-sized rear cabin. The S-Class has been the luxury saloon benchmark for a very long time, and despite very good efforts from Audi, BMW and Jaguar, this latest generation still manages to be the classiest of the lot. The hybrid drivetrain does delete a bit of boot space though, so you're only likely to get three sets of golf clubs in there. 
the 500e hybrid sees Mercedes-Benz taking another step towards bringing its high-end saloon in line with the rest of the world in terms of efficiency. And even though it is the more environmentally considerate option, it still has the best technology, a stress-free drive wrapped up in brilliant luxury. So it certainly hasn't forgotten how to be an S-Class. The hybrid drive S500e is capable of delivering decent performance, but it's more focused on reduced consumption and emissions. Our test car returned a figure of around 10 litres per 100 kilometres, despite the car weighing 2.2 tonnes. It still packs the best of the S-Class experience, but its efficiency has added another item to its long list of talents. It's also the only plug-in hybrid in its class.